Hey there, welcome back to Mustard Seed Homesteading. My name is Megan. If you're new, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna show a very short video on how I separate my seedlings. Okay, first thing I do is I grab my seedlings and this is the Lacinto Cal. They've been, here, been in here for about a month and a half. And you're gonna want all of your supplies. So you're gonna want your spraying water. You're gonna want, of course, your seedlings. You're gonna want your pot that's already filled with the soil. You're gonna want this little tool or some sort of tool that will allow you to put a hole in here to place your, your seedling in. And then you don't have to have this, but I use mycorrhizae um, powder. It's a root inoculant and it just helps the root to grow stronger and give it some extra, some extra goodness. So what I'm gonna do is at this point, I'm going to just gently massage the pot to get them loose. Now, I did water this earlier. It is a lot easier to work with when it is wet and moist versus completely dry. So I just kind of like squeeze the sides a little bit back and forth. And then what I do is tip it over, kind of cut my hand around here and I give it a nice little tap. And you can see all those pretty roots, but I did wait a little too long to do this, so they're a little bit root bound. But I just gently, very gently break this apart. Very gently, as you can see, they just kinda, if you gently massage them, they could just they easily, you know, break apart, especially because if they're, if they're moist and you put some water, it makes it a lot easier to work with. So, and of course, you know, it, I try not to rip <laughs> the roots, but sometimes it's, it's a little bit difficult not to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this little guy here. You can see the roots, although there's quite a bit of mud on there. Let's see if I can get that off so you can take a better look at the roots. It's kind of hard, the mud's kind of stuck in there, but that's the root of the plant, and that's what it looks like. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this pot and I'm gonna go right in the middle and I'm just gonna make a nice little hole like so. I don't go all the way down. I don't put the root all the way down. And then I'm gonna take my Meyer Karaisai powder, just kind of tap a little bit in there. And then all I do is place this right in there. I don't go all the way down. I kind of go like, oh, maybe, maybe about a centimeter or so above where the roots are. If you can see where the roots are, you just kind of place that down just a little bit. And then what I use is my fingers and I just kind of tap and kind of push the, not tap, but I, a little bit of tapping, but I push the soil against it just to kind of keep it snug in there. And you can see it's, it stands up straight as, a, as opposed to falling over. And then what I do is I grab my sprayer. So then what I do is I just spray it to get it acclimated into its new home. And that's all I do. And then I'll let this stay in the pot for maybe, I don't know, a couple of days. And of course you wanna harden these off outside, which really is just, taking your seedlings outside for a few hours each day, uh, which would be a whole nother separate video, but you would harden them off and then you can plant them outside because you want to get them used to the weather outside because when they're in a, a controlled environment in your home or your garage, and if you just go and plant them outside, they it could shock them and kill them. So, and that's all you do. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Or if you'd like to share what kind of methods or tools you've used to separate your seedlings, I would really like to know. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.